Since its inception as a theoretical concept in the 1950s, artificial intelligence AI, has advanced into a potent technology that is revolutionizing industries and altering how people live and work. However, with great power comes great responsibility, and as AI develops it has also raised a number of ethical and practical concerns. DeepMind, an artificial intelligence research lab based in London, England, is one company at the forefront of AI research. It was purchased by Alphabet, Google's parent company, in 2014, and since then, it has made waves in the field of AI. However, not everyone is convinced that AI is a force for good. Elon Musk, a well-known businessman and the CEO of firms like Tesla and SpaceX, has regularly voiced his concerns about the risks that artificial intelligence poses to humans. The possibility of AI becoming sentient and possibly having its own goals and desires that may not be in line with humans is one of the potential risks of artificial intelligence that has been brought up by Elon Musk and others. This raises the question of how he would ensure that such an AI would act morally and in the best interests of humanity. These are legitimate concerns that we should take into account as we investigate the possibilities of AI. Many virtual assistants, like Apple's Siri or Amazon's Alexa, use AI to understand and respond to spoken requests. The ability to recognize and process language is also being tested as a way to measure the progress of AI development, some researchers even use humor as a test for AI as the ability to understand it. Language processing is one area where AI has already made significant strides, it's able to understand and generate text in a way that is almost human-like. However, not everything about AI is sunshine and rainbows. For instance, it can digest enormous volumes of data at an incredible speed, which helps us make more educated judgments. Concerns have also been raised about the way artificial intelligence AI, processes information and makes decisions. Unlike humans, AI does not have emotions or the capacity to understand context, which can cause issues such as AI systems making decisions that are biased or unethical. Concerns have also been raised about the possibility that advanced AI could significantly outperform humans, whether through access to more resources or simply by virtue of its superior intelligence. Recently Blake Lemoyne, a Google engineer, made the contentious claim that Lambda, the company's AI system, had developed sentience. This sparked a discussion about whether or not machines can develop consciousness or subjective awareness, and what it would mean if they did. What does it mean for a machine to be sentient, and is it possible for artificial intelligence to achieve this level of consciousness? Is this a revolutionary technology that will change the world for the better, or is it a dangerous tool that needs to be carefully monitored? These are difficult and contentious questions. Could artificial intelligence systems become sentient? Is one major concern. AlphaGo, a Google DeepMind AI computer created to play the classic board game Go, made history in 2016 by defeating Lee Zettel, one of the best Go players in the world, in a five-match tournament. AlphaGo is only one of Google's DeepMind's famous artificial intelligence accomplishments. As a partially difficult game requiring a high degree of strategic thinking, the victory was hailed as a significant turning point for AI. AlphaFold, another significant offering from DeepMind, was created to predict the 3D structure of proteins from their amino acid sequences. This is a difficult endeavor that has the potential to significantly advance our understanding of biology and disease by the year 2020. In addition to these projects, DeepMind has also made significant advancements in areas like natural language processing, image recognition, and machine learning. It is clear that DeepMind is a forefront of AI research, and its accomplishments have the potential to have a major impact on a wide range of fields in the recent year. AlphaFold made significant progress in this area, and its results were described as a major scientific advance by research researchers in the field. With its superior intelligence and problem-solving skills, Ascension AI could potentially be a valuable partner for humanity. On the other hand, if Google's AI were to become sentient, it would potentially have its own goals and desires. It could seek to improve itself and increase its own power and influence. This could potentially lead to conflict with humans who may not always agree with the AI's decisions or actions. In the context of AI, 
Consciousness and sentience are crucial because they stand for the capacity to reason, perceive, and feel the world similarly to humans. Many researchers in the field have long sought to build conscious and sentient AI systems since doing so would pave the way for the creation of tools that would be capable of complex cognitive and emotional states, as well as a sense of self and awareness. In spite of these worries, many scientists and engineers are attempting to develop new methods and approaches that could move us closer to accomplishing this objective. The pursuit of generating consciousness and sentient AI systems continues to be a primary focus of research and development in the field. According to some researchers, artificial intelligence may one day generate human-like subjective experiences and self-awareness. Artificial global intelligence is this idea. There has been some speculation about the possibility of Google's AI DeepMind becoming sentient or self-aware, but there is currently no evidence to suggest that DeepMind or any other artificial intelligence has attained this level of consciousness. AGI would enable AI to think and reason like a human, which is often linked to the possibility of machines becoming sentient or self-aware. Although many experts believe that AI development is still decades away and that there are still many obstacles to be overcome before it becomes a reality, others contend that the development of sentient AI is inevitable and that it may occur much sooner than we think. While the prospect of AI may seem exciting, it also raises a number of ethical questions. Would AI have the same rights and protections as people if it were to become sentient? Whether AI will ever become conscious or sentient is still an open topic, but how can we make sure that we have the ethical and philosophical frameworks in place to deal with the potential repercussions of an AI becoming sentient? The discussion of synthetic consciousness is one that is still continuing and is likely to change as technology develops. Elon Musk is concerned, as many of us are aware. Elon Musk is a well-known businessman and the CEO of firms like Tesla and SpaceX. He is also widely known for his opinions on artificial intelligence and has regularly spoken out against the possible risks and dangers linked with advanced AI systems. Elon Musk claims that the biggest problem with AI scientists is that they frequently underestimate the likelihood that advanced AI could be harmful to humans. In recent interviews, he cites examples like the rapid improvement of AlphaGo, a game-playing AI, as proof of the rapid advancement of AI and its potential to surpass human intelligence. When it comes to the advancement of AI, Elon Musk has indicated that DeepMind, a Google company devoted to producing digital superintelligence, is his top worry. Elon Musk has expressed grave concerns about the future of AI, calling it the most dangerous warning for humanity. In particular, he has compared DeepMind, a leading AI research company, to a Trojan horse due to its potential to deceive or undermine its users in some way. In the context of DeepMind, the metaphor of a Trojan horse refers to the idea of something being presented as a gift or opportunity but in reality contains hidden motives or a harmful agenda. You might be wondering, what's the big deal, after all, DeepMind's artificial intelligence AI, has produced impressive results in areas like game playing, image and speech recognition, and it's even been applied to problems in the healthcare and other industries. But here's the thing, DeepMind has administrator access to all of Google's servers in order to optimize the energy USA. According to Elon Musk, an AI doesn't necessarily have to be evil in order to threaten humanity. For instance, if an AI has a specific purpose and human stands in the way of attaining that objective, the AI can view humanity's extinction as a means to an end rather than the end itself. Musk makes a comparison between this scenario and when a road is being built and an anthill just so happens to be in the way, saying, we don't hate ants, we're simply building a road. Adieu, anthill these issues brought up by Musk serve as a reminder of the significance of carefully weighing the potential risks and advantages of artificial intelligence, especially as we get closer to the creation of digital superintelligence. A digital superintelligence is an artificial intelligence that is significantly smarter than the best human minds in almost any field, including scientific creativity. Social cognition and abilities this degree of intelligence would be able to exceed humans in a variety of tasks and would also be able to learn and adapt far more quickly. Elon Musk cites the development of self-driving cars as another illustration of the quick development of AI. 
He forecasts that, despite these developments, self-driving cars will be at least 100 to 200 percent safer than human drivers within the next 18 months. In his opinion, regulation and oversight are necessary to ensure that AI is developed safely and in a way that is beneficial to humanity. Musk believes that the potential danger of AI is much greater than the potential danger of nuclear weapons, making it one of the most urgent existential crises that humanity faces. Although it's unclear, one thing is certain, we cannot control it. While Elon Musk has discussed the possible risks associated with AI, he has also highlighted some of its potential advantages. Elon Musk also said that while it's unclear which superintelligent AI will be, one thing is certain, we won't be able to control it. Google's DeepMind AI AlphaGo has already shown its superiority in the difficult board game Go, defeating 18-time world champion Lisa Dahl in four out of five games. However, the real standout achievement came from AlphaGo Zero, a new AI that defeated the original AlphaGo in 100 out of 100 games, doing so without any assistance from humans and learning and developing its own strategies in just 40 days. In general, the future of AI is uncertain, and it's up to humanity to carefully consider the potential consequences and make responsible decisions about its development. This is especially crucial when it comes to tasks that have the potential to harm or benefit humanity, such as eradicating world hunger or developing new technologies. We need to ensure that AI acts in the best interest of humanity rather than just choosing the quickest and easiest route to complete a task.